I have returned in snow to find his letters, which he was to post but could not. He told me once, he writes me to me by the dove. At guard number three, I try to find him. He is not here, nowhere. I must row the shikara through the memories to see him. I'll row it even if it snows, day and night. If I must drown, I will, to read those undelivered letters to reach him. What roses do I bring him? What songs do I sing? Voices are lost in the wails here, but his spreads across my worlds. Each night I'm lost to his voice, his words, him. I will wait till it rains. When the rain becomes ink, I must write the replies to his letters which never reached me. My name is Amir. I am from Srinagar. I was born and raised in the old city of Srinagar. Uh, I am a writer, a poet and uh, I click pictures. love for books, writing, reading, poetry has always been there. Um, my grandfather is a poet, he writes in Kashmiri and so that's I think where it comes from. I have read poetry in a lot of languages and from various poets and the words of those poets would often uh, help me in, in healing myself, in escaping the reality in, in, in a lot of ways. Everybody knows how beautiful Kashmir is, uh, but unfortunately people do not know how beautiful Kashmiris are. And uh, that is what inspires me to write more. I, I did my schooling uh, from Srinagar and then I left for my studies and I did my university in the UK. Uh, I worked there for some time, but eventually I returned to Kashmir. I think um, it is Kashmir that keeps calling you back. It was the, the love for Kashmir and its people that I had inside me that kept calling me back. Kashmir is called uh, as Valley of Saints. So there is a lot of Sufi culture in, in Kashmir and there is a lot of spirituality in Kashmir. Uh, so you can see there are a lot of shrines in Kashmir and one such shrine is um, of uh, Shai Hamdan which is in Khan Ka uh, in the old city area. This is the place where I go often and I sit there on the stairs and you know watch the people coming and going, praying there, watch the pigeons flying away there. There's a lot of um, things happening there and there is a lot of... Um, there is, you know, I, I, f I find it very mystical um, and I, I believe in Sufism and I believe in spirituality and these uh, kind of places give me peace and these kind of places help me in um, being a better human. Aga Shahid Ali has been my inspiration. He is the one who inspires me to write basically. His poetry speaks to me at so many levels because he used to write for Kashmir uh, in such a way that, that I could relate to it. And uh, his poetry has had a great influence on me as a person as well. I feel some sort of uh, spiritual connection with him. And that's why if you, if you read my poetry, there is a lot of influence of his work in my poetry as well. Aga Shahid Ali says, uh, at a certain point, I lost track of you. They make a desolation and call it peace. So uh, basically in these two lines, he sums up the whole Kashmir situation. Uh, when I started sharing uh, my poetry and my writings, uh, the main aim behind this was to create awareness because awareness uh, is the first step towards change. Uh, I know a lot of people 
I would say majority of the people do not know about the reality of Kashmir and they have made their own you know conceptions about Kashmir from what they have seen on the TV and the news but then that is not the reality of Kashmir there is other side to it and I want to bring the stories out from Kashmir and you know show it to the world that this is not this is how Kashmir is not what they show you on the TV The beautiful thing uh, about the old city is that you will you will find a slow transition taking place at every corner. This transition is from violence of existence to the peace of heart. Uh, there are so many. There is the simplicity in the old city. There is this warmth that creates an aura of uh, belongingness and love. Old city has seen a lot. It has it has gone through a lot. But still, you will find love and warmth in the people there. Um, the lanes, there, the the people of old city. You know, they have so many stories to tell. Uh, they have gone through a lot, yet they, yet you will find them, uh, you know, smiling at you and offering you help if you need. So, old city has been like a mother to me. It has owned me into the person I am today. The situation Kashmir is going through, the the problems here, the issues here. You know, people try to find peace in you know things they they like, they love to do. And art is a beautiful a beautiful thing that can heal you. Everybody in Kashmir, you know, every other person you find has gone through you know, some turbulent times, and everybody has these scars and wounds. And I think art is that art is the thing that can heal you, because it it heals me. It certainly does. Um, I believe, uh, you know, my poetry it is an art in itself. And I believe when I write, it kind of soothes me. It heals me from inside. So art can help you stop the world and. Can stop and you can tap into the into the words, the rhymes, the songs, and which eventually become a part of you. Uh, art is there for your numb heart. It is there for your fears. It is there for your hopes. So for me, art speaks uh, in a million ways. I mean, nobody wants violence or war. Uh, Everybody is tired of this, and and Kashmir is also like everyone else. One piece. Uh, Kashmir has gone through a lot, and it has lost so much. That, uh, we cannot undo what has been done, but I think, you know, if you ask anyone what they want, um, their answer would be nothing more than peace.